We do not think so. It, it did have a tough start, much driven by the uh, lack of U.S. soybean stopped by the Chinese tariffs and, and the trade wars. But it has come back about half the, the distance it, it dropped. It's come back up about halfway. And that is seasonal uh, after Chinese New Year. And we also think that the start of the South American grain season uh, will help to, to keep the recovery coming. Uh, the lack of U.S. soybean in the fourth quarter, should there be a resolution to the trade deal, those soybean may well come back, and there is talk about that now. So we may even have a period when we get both South American and North American soybeans in the market uh, at the same time. I think the Chinese will not go down easy, uh, slowing down their economies. I think uh, we, we can expect some stimulus uh, by the Chinese. And also, as we get closer to 2020, uh, we think that the already quite positive supply-demand fundamentals for the smaller vessel segments and, and minor bulk demand will be boosted by some IMO 2020 effects, uh, i.e. most ships complying by using low sulfur fuel. And they will then be incentivized to, to save fuel and, and, and slow down, which can have an additional contraction effect on the supply side. So while there is some uh, nervousness and, and slowdown in the market in the, in the shorter term, we still believe uh, in quite positive fundamentals for at least the smaller vessel segments and minor bulk and, and that grain demand will come back as we get later into uh, to 2019.